can grow and learn and become better. So I like the role. They really go down to the level of that student. There's a point in life that I saw a teacher. Kwanza wa pipi one. Wanarudingi wana kwa dogo kama wana wanafuzi wa pipi one. So wa high school wana kwa kama wa high school. Hey, the teachers we need for the education we want. Amazing thing for these years. World Teachers Day 2023. And you know, in our today's discussion, we're just in, we're encouraging you to celebrate teachers pale on our socials and be part of the show. Speaking of teachers, teacher Mike has joined us today, like he calls himself. I first met him. <laughs> I first met teacher Mike. Nilikuwa ni menda missions. Mina mrembo missions pale hapa here and there. Missioner. No, I was nilienda missions at Mary Lake and I met him was running up and down yani ensuring ensuring that the students are comfortable uh -huh. they are happy they are well fed they are hearing the word of god fed in all aspects Kabisa. see food see word wamekula sure. wameshiba yeah. so I was really impressed and today I like you know teacher Mike ebu kama hapa tubonge story ya teachers and uh -huh. thank you so much for honoring the invite and joining us today nashukuru sana sana mm -hmm. i'm so happy to be here thank mm -hmm. you for hosting me mm -hmm. Uh, Miriam and uh, uh, President, yeah. President <laughs> Kabisa. So, mm. yeah, we met uh, Uliko Mekuja. Yeah. yeah, and I was Juchini, Juchini. Mm. And uh, basically, yeah, that's what uh, a teacher does, <laughs> especially the 21st century teacher. Mm. Yeah, we are now even more friendly to learners. You know, Kitambo mm. Kotno Gopali Mumbai Asana. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we've gone down to their level so that we understand each other, they understand us. Yeah. So, Nashukuru, and I'm so happy to be here. Yes. yes, yes. Introduce yourself. I'm not sure if you're going to be a mission. I'm like, I'm a mission. I'm going to be a mission. So, so um, mm. uh, my name is Michael Mwangi. Mm. And uh, I'm saved. Christ is Lord over my life. Hallelujah. I uh, got saved when I was in Form 3. Uh, so, it's been a journey. Mm. Uh, number two, I am a learning facilitator. I teach uh, at a school called Mary Leakey Girls High School. Mimi ni mwalimu wa geografia na mathematic. Mwalimu Hapa ni wapi? Watu tumewaletea mwalimu wa math. Hapa ni wapi? Sasa hapa ndipo tupo. Kabisa kabisa. So hapa ni mbali and apart from that um I also run a company called Dynamic Safari which is a tours and travel agency. Um so wakati siko class you know we are traveling in Kenya. Then um, I also do creative writing, I do spoken word. Though sasa, you know, when you get to profession, kidogo talent in Azama, mm. but we thank God for all that. Mm. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested, uh -huh. teacher Mike. <laughs> uh -huh. Looking at you as such a young teacher, and I'm like, hmm, how did you decide to be a teacher? Or was it just a plan B profession? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or it's something that you really wanted while you're growing up? Mm. Um, uh, for me, but mm. it's passion. Mm. Yeah, and I know, um, uh, Kuna walimu walijipata ni walimu. Pale una select course kwenda university, you know, jaribu engineering na kurusha inje. You know, you go to architect, me kurusha inje. Sidiyo. Babas, nisho kwa walimu. And I have friends kama hao, yeah. So, but for me, since I was young, I really had passion to work with young people especially. So, you know, nikiwa shule, you know, I would be subject to kiswa hili, for nini. Coming to high school when teachers were not around, I was assisting in teaching. So, I wanted to become a teacher. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to become a lecturer. Ah. Yeah. So, I was in the line. I was in the line. I So, uh, my passion was working with young people. And uh, that's how I chose to become a teacher. And of course, I, I loved mathematics. Mm -hmm. And also, I was doing well in geography. So, I was in the math and uh, geography. But basically, mm -hmm. I love working with young people. Just molding them mm -hmm. and making them to become um, better people. Because I really feel... In our time, we had disconnect na walimu sana, mm -hmm. sana, sana, you know. But, uh, you know, I could be that one teacher who is uh, close to these guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they learn from na tumekuwa hapo. So, yeah, that's how I became you a teacher. You mentioned something very interesting, mm -hmm. teacher Micah. That growing up, back in our days, mm -hmm. si kina Gen Z, yeah, si si kina cool. millennials. Mm -hmm. Apa niksa kio moja wa, mm -hmm. tuki wa high school, Habisa. how do you even approach a teacher? Mm -hmm. And the students, they are approaching their teachers uh -huh. courageously. Uh -huh. Actually, even uh -huh. to, to say hi to them. You know, you know, you know, you know teacher, teacher, how was your day? Hey, uh -huh. unazaji kuselami ya malimu. Uliko nuna tu malimu amas pali. Shua. Teacher, only 
cutish. Yeah. <laughs> Yani umekula kona, unamona yeah. na kuja hivi unakula kona. Like, no, we can't meet. Uh -huh. yeah, things have changed. These exactly. Days. I think the dynamics mm. have changed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, me, I think back then, tukia primary pale, mm. you know, ili pata privilege, nini ili enda academy. <laughs> oh, kuna, private school. Kuna, school. Kuna, nisomea polling station, yeah. nini academy. Group of schools. <laughs> oh, nini ndo group of schools. Aha, uh -huh, kabisa. So, uh -huh. and uh, tulikuwa tunapigwa vitambaya sana. Allah. Mm -hmm. Actually, every teacher had a part of your body, yonyo napiganga. Mwalimu wa math ni mikono. Hey. I remember wasiari alikuwa ni huku mbele. Hey. Kiswahili migu. Kai. Social studies, hey. boys huku nyuma. Hey. Yeah. And uh, it was, it was, it was thara. Hey. Yeah. Na so mm. kulikuwa na fear ya walimu. Mm. You know, jumping in, in, uh, to high school. Mwalimu ikifika saa tisa, you know, wakona duka kwa shopping center. Uwe umuoni shule. <laughs> yeah. Asha enda shuguli zake. <laughs> but you know, it's been a, a transition by the actually. Mm. And uh, I can attest, by the way, Walimu say they are really close to students, mm. you know. Ile fie ime ondoka. Maka deputy principal. Ndiye pa kwanza alikuwa na sumama hai, 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 hai. Ndiye pa kisumama pale DH. Kusimama tu. DH, nino daini ho. Ah, unatoka mbio mbaya. Yes, and I think and I think it's good uh, the fact that we are getting into a space where you know I don't mm. have to beat you in your one you don't have to fear me to communicate and actually bring them closer helps us understand the challenges they are going through mm. yeah because when they are to get so mm -hmm. us being close mm. to them is a plus for them and for us as well mm. so it's good it, it may happen it's change and uh, it's positive yeah mm. and it's inevitable so tuna furaha here yes, yes, yes. najo it's positive na pia kuna wale tu Mm -hmm. I've been to boys schools. Yes. Kuna wale mm -hmm. warui. Mm -hmm. Kuna wale tu wana kujanga na rules zao shule. Mm -hmm. Now I'm wondering how do you enhance discipline to these students? You mm -hmm. know, considering that corporal punishment was like removed by the government. Yes, yes, yes. How yes. do you enhance discipline in schools right now? So, um, yeah, it's true what you said. Mm. Uh, actually, uh, I think in 2022, the yeah. Children Act uh, was reviewed. Yes. And actually, corporal punishment was abolished. Kabisa. Yeah. 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 As you speak, Sai, even telling a student to kneel down mm. is, is serious. <laughs> they can day. sue you. Yeah. Ni wale wana I know my rights. Exactly. I know my rights. <laughs> hey, uh -huh. okay, you know your rights. Uh -huh. So, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it has changed dynamics, you know, mm -hmm. how you punish someone. Mm -hmm. Because again, you might land yourself in trouble. Fine, of course, you have good intentions. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not wasting time. Mm -hmm. You just want them to become better. So we have shifted to other softer ways of punishing someone. Yeah, and I'm assuming like the way you say softer ways. Exactly. Wali mo math, you know. You pato jafanya asanu. You know, back then it was ni viboko. Jafanya asanu men. You know, they would say, "Come oja." In fact, before ni yangu lekta biyako, si mama. You know, because used to fear when asama tumbi on me. So. You know, you might do the assignment three more times, you know. <laughs> that's that's a soft way of punishing someone. Wow. I saw someone else, I mean, um, to, um, <laughs> I think, I was doing a wrong subject. This mm. was my friend from another school. Mm. And, you know, the fact that we disrespect this subject, you know, say biology, you know, it's a CRE. I can't believe it's a Nzima. You circle all the A's. Ziki Isha, Uja Unione. Yeah? <laughs> so, we have so many other ways uh -huh. of punishing mm -hmm. that won't um, affect self-esteem, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, Ikizidi, the administration mm -hmm. handles. Now, Ikizidi, Zaidi, now the parent comes in. Because mm -hmm. we still have parents, Kiboko mm -hmm. Ijaisha, yeah? Ukimpigia tu mama nani, uya metusumbua, wacha ni kuje. Yes, and if that's how the, the, the child best listens to the parent, well and good. Mm -hmm. But from the teaching side, we've shifted, you know, to more better ways of punishing someone without necessarily using the cane. Yeah. Kusakol all the A's. Mbaka Isha. Mbaka Isha, a whole newspaper. I would have enjoyed school. Ah, th <laughs> these are good Are you still punishment? Uh, I see punishment. It, it means you, you read the whole newspaper? Yes. Oh, now you're you not supposed to miss any A's. Yes. Mm. So you can imagine telling yeah. uh, a mili, okay, I Gen Z say ku soma gazeti. Mm -hmm. So this is a punishment. Yeah, you know, punishment. Because that one watu wa TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, ukiwambia watch all the videos <laughs> on TikTok about maths, mm -hmm. they will enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know punishment. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, now besides that, now mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. You know, education is really key to any child's life, mm -hmm. any person growing up, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of now choosing. Mm -hmm. want you being uh, in teaching for how long have you been teaching? You haven't even told us. 
Uh, yeah, not not really long. Yeah. It's my second year. Ah, yeah, so you're good, you're good, you're mm. good. I'm still children in the profession, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Of course, we are learning yes. every day. Mm. All right. How does education even play a role in someone's life, mm -hmm. in shaping their future and all that? Mm. So I think a teacher has a very big role mm -hmm. um, in the learner's life. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. we are with uh, these kids for most part of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the parent, we are with them mm -hmm. almost every time, you know. Mm -hmm. And... Um, one thing uh, the teacher does is, of course, to instill knowledge. You know, mm. when I say instilling knowledge is what we have on books. And uh, number two is disciplining. Mm. Yeah. So when we put discipline in the picture, this is a part of also molding character. Then, of course, uh, the teacher plays a big role mm. in also the esteem of the learner. Yeah. Mm. How you teach, how you approach different issues. Like now, you're in the, it's good you said Gen Z. Mm. The issues on a face say by the way. Si tofauti kabisa. Si zetu very very different, mm. you know. Mm. And how you approach them really really matters. Mm. So as a teacher, you have a very big role. You know, you can you can tell say you nzambi amtoto kitu na affect her life forever or his life. Si zetu nzambi amtu you utakuwa failure. Aye, I mean that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. You just write out teacher ni anipendi sawa na mimi. But say so you can't tell Alana that, yeah, and it's mm. so serious. So even uh, uh, the words we use, mm. you know, the, the council we have and schools have integrated so much just to help in making someone holistic. Shule says you a counseling departments. Uh -huh. Um every kid must be in a game or a sport or a society. Mm. You know, cuz it's not all about books by the way. Mm. Yeah. So and as teachers we are also there making sure umsi akopoa drama akopoa nini akopoa he and it could be that's their 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 future so a teacher plays a big 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 role in shaping someone's mm. uh, future mm. and someone's character mm. so in so many aspects socially physically uh, spiritually uh mwalimu akwa pata center mm. yeah, so it's a very very sensitive career it's like you've dedicated your entire life mm -hmm. <laughs> to that student, to mm -hmm. that school. So when I was like, I was like, third term, uh, yes. okay, third term, second term. Yeah. Second time, I was four months, Shuleni. Yes. You were there Sana. for four months. Yes, yes, and yes. you have to be fair with them eh, in terms of education. Up, you know, you know, you know, you know, you I love the spiritual aspect. Yes, yes. Now, when I squeeze Shuleni, I was like, I was like, chaplaincy and yes, all that. Yes, yes, yeah? yes. Yeah? Mm. Actually, um, speaking on behalf of our, our school, uh, yes. like Meriliki, we, mm. we take uh, Christianity very, very seriously. Mm. And of course, we respect other mm. religions, religion. you see, because we can't mm. force again. Mm. You know, come on, Muslim, Muslim, we respect that. Mm. Yes. And yeah, schools um, have uh, uh, gotten a notch higher mm. in terms of uh, incorporating Christianity in schools. Uh, we have programs inside schools mm. that help to nurture students spiritually. Like now, our school also have... Uh, Apart from word, preacher, and nini, and nini, we also have the creative arm of the the, the Christian Union, mm. where we have drama, we have music, we have uh, fine art, mm. we have poetry, and uh, music academy. Ah. Yeah. So you, you know, yeah, music academy. Yes. All right. That's so apart, nice. So mm. uh, you know when you know, cause umtoa kistia back in the days, you will pwani tonight. You amtu Friday, <laughs> I'm a preach bass. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mm. I'm a Sunday, to na get Sunday, kuja, you know, na watu, people prepare their seats, mm. um, uh, you know, because it's a lala. Mm. Karibu the half the session. Yeah. We even call artists over, mm. you know, we have uh, very uh, uh, good weekend challenges yeah. and invite other schools, you know, just to make them feel, atakama tuko kwa Christianity, mm. you know, it's not boring. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have fun even in school mm. and as a Christian. Mm. So we also look at those things and it's true, yeah. Uh, every school, I believe, Sahi, uh, Mambona Christianity is being taken very, very seriously. Mm. Even as to assist to deal with the issues these kids are facing nowadays. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I know you being part of Meriliki, you've seen, uh, seen things here and there. Mm -hmm. You've experienced some good and bad times. Mm -hmm. Are there challenges that teachers face? Not mm -hmm. just you, but generally teachers, some of the challenges they face. Teachers want to face um, a mm. lot of challenges, mm. I'd say. Um, and also what can be done to overcome maybe these yes, challenges? Yes, yes. Uh, I think if I was to... Okay, there are many categories of the challenges teachers mm. face, mm. you know. Kuna mambo na curriculum um, implementation. Yeah. We have guys on Afunza Shuleze, we have resources. Yeah. And it's true. Mm. Now, sometimes we only see the good schools. Kuna mm. Shuleze, hakuna books. No, books, kapsa. Desks are zitoshi. Wano nakawane in your seat. 
um, hakuna blackboard poor mm. sasa shule ziko na white boards you know bado kuna shule ziko na blackboard na blackboard iko na shimo mm. yeah and uh, it's a, it's a challenge you know i also think uh, teachers face a lot when it comes to attitude mimi mm. nakumbuka tulisimbwa limo sana mm. okay mimi nilikuwa mzuri by the way mimi nilikuwa mzuri eh mzuri eh nikisa na jaribu kusema kitu alikuwa mzuri because learners can decide kukusumbua by the way and it's a challenge actually so and this one is for especially those who are now new to the profession yeah um uh, learners can really um, ha- make you have a hard time especially kama ujakuwa grounded vizuri mm. you know you go to a boys school and you are a young lady and they'll make sure they, they'll have uh, fishy fishy ways you know of, of concentrating in class na nini so also in class kuna challenges kama hizo mm. but again these are things that also come with time yes mm. again also ukikuja kwa teachers who are advanced in age you know accepting that tumebadilika mm-hmm. how we used to teach kitambo sisi mm-hmm. tunafunza saa hii hiyo transition pia it's a challenge but of course um, even financially mm-hmm. you know in other countries uh, if you if you do your research vizuri walimu kwa nje you know, it's a very serious profession yeah and it's true you know we are where we are because of teachers engineer kwa hapo because there was a teacher a doctor is there because there was a teacher So sometimes I think teachers um ha shughuliki sana hiyo pande yeah so it's also a challenge mm-hmm. you know some of the teachers work in hardship areas yeah. and I think the role they play in someone's life uh pia wanafaa kushughulikiwa kabisa mm-hmm. so walimu wana face so many challenges and I think maybe looking to the future I'm trusting that our country will embrace teaching you know as a very very serious mm-hmm. career um kitambo tu walimu walikuwa naheshimiwa sana hata huko nje mm. ya yeah. yeah. sana 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 yeah, ilikuwa kariya kujivunia <laughs> eh? exactly kwa sababu exactly. ukisikia kati wewe ni mtoto wa mwalimu ai, eh, ai, the respect ai, ai. you get or wewe ni mwalimu you see those jokes that uh, zinakuangatia wewe ni wewe ni bibi ya mwalimu ama wewe ni bwana sio mwalimu yeah. mwalimu amesema mwalimu yeah. amenituma so if, even if you are interacting with someone mwalimu alisema hii mwalimu alisema hii mm-hmm. mwalimu alifanya hii yeah? ngoja mwalimu akuje ndo tu tuangalie hii issue it, 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 it was a za ile career iko na iko na uzito hadi wait yes, exactly. eh? but, but i know over time mm. it hasn't been it has been looked at like something that is really exactly. important exactly. and people are shying away from that sindio for that true. career kuna jenzi mwenye nataka kwa mwalimu I hope we interact now. Yeah, in fact even in my classes who wants to become a teacher in this eh, class? Eh. Watu wanakataa kabisa. Serious. Maybe it's the society where mm-hmm. so tukifika saa hii, mm. you know, we may be watered down the name of a teacher. Yeah. yeah. Inakaa ni kama hiyo ni kosa ya kuhepa, you mm. know, maybe nilikosa hii, nikakosa hii na I become a teacher mm. But it's something to be proud of. You mm. can be proud of being a teacher. Mm. Yeah. And uh, it's a profession ya kujivunia. So I think uh, walking to the future also guys should embrace teaching. Yeah. And I think pia maybe wao wanaona kama walimu tunainua matawi huko kila siku you know kunikubaya. So how can I join that, that profession? Mm. So I think we should also look into yeah. making this profession mm. more uh, marketable and more friendly mm. even for our learners. Mm. Yes, yes. All right. Ah, education Kabisa. is power. I know people People, people are going to embrace education. It, it's something that cannot go away. Hata yes, yes, tukileta yes. AI. Mhm. Eh, mwalimu atutaimu. Bado that role is still needed. And yeah. really appreciate you yes. teacher Mike for coming in. Kabisa. Ah, salamu ya rembo wangu wa Mary Liki. I will, I will. Ah, great them. I really love those exactly, girls. I will. Mm-hmm. And um Uh, maybe nafatuma salamu yes yes first <laughs> you mentioned we mentioned your social media your yes. social media platform how people can even reach you yes uh, instagram mm. uh, facebook mike rupi mm. that's r w o p i e mm. um then uh, i would want to send a big shout out to the meriliki fraternity walintuma na salamu mingi sana mm. you know send me taja ni taja ni taja kama unaweza wakumbuka unaweza wataja ni wengi madam good mr muso kama madam agnes wote wote a big shout out to you guys and um mm. guys watching at home uh, my mom and uh, brothers all the way in nyeri uh, my good friends morris kennedy tanguya um uh, brenda in machakos so many of them Uh thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Yes, yes, yes.
Thank you so much, teacher Kuja. Nashukuru teacher sana, Chama, sana, sana. Amefika pia e mbali. Kabisa. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Teachers we need for the education we want. Exactly. We really appreciate you. You yes, know what? Yes, yes. The also, I also admire what the government does. Mm. Usually, does its best to appreciate the teachers in all ways. Yes. Huh? Tumona juzi wa mongezewa ka percentage pale. Please, government, ongezeni pia another <laughs> percentage. <laughs> to kapurai exactly. sana. So, so, so. Yes, across all social media platforms is at 254 if, if you get to appreciate teacher Mike Apa Uneza Umsalamia Pale and also appreciate the teachers your teacher your favorite teacher your teacher that shaped your life your education your future in any way at 254 across all social media platform guys guys we've come to the end to the end of the show are we at the end mm -hmm. at the end Oh, time met so go so today will not be having our inspiration vibe. But guys, next Sunday you know we want to tune in because to tell an Aguila story of the prodigal son to anyone what God is able to do, what God is capable of doing to someone who willingly repents is amazing thing. So tune in next Sunday are from eleven am here on Y254 JC Sako. Come to an end next to Kimalizia. Yeah, a uh, special shout out to our guests for coming. Asante. This is amazing, a special edition. Atu Jawai Kwana guest special. 